Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what we're going to be talking about is how to control instances with weight maps. And we're going to end up with a, a grassy field, and we're also going to talk about how those instances can follow the contours of that plane if there's even deformations applied to it. So let's jump right into it and get started. On the first layer, I just have a, a single blade of grass. It was a single-sided polygon, so I went into the surface editor and just turned on double-sided for that layer. And in the second layer, we have our plane. So I'm going to go ahead and select this arrow here and hit Send Object to Layout. And here we are in Layout. So let's hit the D key to bring up the preferences. And I'm going to change the grid square size to 1 meter. Here we go. OK, so now with our second layer selected, which is our ground plane, I'm going to hit the P key to bring up the object properties. And I'm going to come over here to the Instancing tab. I'm going to add Instancer and then add the Instance Generator. Let's double click on that. And I'm going to add the object of our Grass Layer 1, which is our, our blade of grass. Let me move this over here. Scale this down a little bit so you guys can see. There we go. OK, so if you come to this eyeball here and select that, you can see that you can choose from uh, various types of settings. So let's just switch to Texture Shaded Solid. And the item type is going to be surface, because we want our grass blade instances to be conformed to the surface of our ground plane. So as I start scrubbing through instances, you can see that they're being populated. Now just so that this will go a little faster, I'm going to turn our texture shaded solid back to bounding box. And I'm going to type in something crazy like 30,000. Yeah. Okay. And let's go to the scale tab. You can see that we have a minimum and a maximum setting. That means I want from the original That means I want from the original grass blade to be no smaller than 50% and no larger than 150%. Let's go to the rotation. Let's set the minimum heading to uh, 0 degrees is fine, and then the maximum heading 180 degrees. Okay, and let's switch back to Texture Shaded Solid. You can see that all our grass blades are now being instanced across that surface. So let's X out of this and go to the object properties of the second layer. And this time, we're going to go to the Deform tab, and we're going to add a displacement map. And I'm going to choose a procedural texture, and turbulence is fine. And let's just change this to about 5 meters. And you can see that the instances are following the contours of that deformation. Just so we can see it, I'm going to boost it up to about 300%. And check that out. pretty cool. Okay, so what if we wanted to put a path going through this field? Well, it's actually really easy to do with weight maps, and the node flow is uh, really easy to set up. It's only a uh, one weight map node. So let's go back to Modeler, and let's switch to a weight shade view. And what we're going to do is actually paint our path onto this. So down here, we have a W, which stands for weight, weight. And I'm going to click on None and choose New, and set this to Path. And I want to create it with 100% value. So Create. So the bright red means that this entire object has 100% weight applied to it. So I want to go to the Map tab and choose the Airbrush tool. Tap the N key to bring up the Numeric Options panel. And I want our strength to be 100%, and I want to paint on 0% weight map. And if you right click in the viewport, you can see that we can adjust the radius. So something like that is fine. And then when you left click, just make your path, like so. All right, so now let's save our object by hitting the S key. 
And when we jump back into layout, it'll automatically be synced uh, from using the hub. Okay. So now let's go to the object properties again for the plane. Go to the instancing tab, double click on this. And come to the nodes tab over here. We're going to check use nodes and then open up the edit nodes panel. And this is how easy it is to control instances with nodes. We're simply going to start typing in weight and hit the enter key and double click on your weight map node. And all we're going to do is connect, I'm sorry, double click on weight map and then choose your weight map, which is path. Then all we're going to do is just connect the value to the weight of the instance generator. And it's that easy. So what you're seeing is where the weight map is 100% is where all of our instances are. And then where it's 0% is where none of our instances are. So let's go into the surface editor and just for the grass, turn on smoothing. I'm sorry, for the base, turn on smoothing. Yeah. And let's go back into our uh, properties for the instances and turn this back to bounding box. I just want to see how this looks in the VPR, which is the viewport renderer. Let's go into the camera view first by hitting the 6 key. And just get a view. Like so. And turn on VPR. And let's hit Control F5 to bring up the effects tab. And just check gradient backdrop. And cool. We can go to render and go to the camera properties and add some anti-aliasing to this. So the minimum samples have to be at least three. And we can just render this frame. All right, cool. So we covered uh, a few different things in this tutorial. One, how easy it is to create uh, a field of grass um, with using polygons of one grass blade and uh, using a surface to instance them across. And we talked about how to control those instances with a weight map. And then we also talked about how you can add a displacement map to the ground plane and the instances will follow the contours of it. So you end up with a pretty cool result uh, for close-up shots or for aerial shots. And uh, you know this can be used a lot of different ways. So definitely experiment with it and have fun.